Welcome. This is a video and overview of the Sensodyne's new Gila Breeder 3 dry cell calibrator. We'll cover what's included, how to set up the calibrator, review of the capabilities and functions of the device, and demonstrate how to properly use your calibrator. Additionally, we'll cover safe handling and storage, as well as the annual maintenance for this device. Let's get started. Here you have the Gilibrator 3 Deluxe Starter Kit. It includes the Gilibrator 3 base with all three flow cells. The flow cell ranges are from 5 cc's per minute all the way up to 30 liters per minute. Once you open the case, you'll see the Quick Start Guide inside. We recommend reading and keeping this handy for future reference. The Quick Start Guide, as well as the Operation Manual, can be found on the included SD card located in the back of the Gilibrator base. Now under the Quick Start Guide, you'll find the 17025 calibration certificates for the flow cells and a certificate of performance for the base. You will then notice that there's foam cutouts inside the case. The foam cutouts contain the base with a standard cell attached and then a cutout for the low flow cell and a cutout for the high flow cell. Now the low flow cell and high flow cell are identified with the L for low, H for high, and S for the standard flow cell and these are located on the back label of the flow cell. Also, in the lower left corner of the foam cutout, you'll find a power adapter and a plug. Next, we take a look at the accessories located in the zipper pouch on the top side of the case. Inside, you'll find three plastic bags. One will contain the USB cord, needed to connect the calibrator to your computer. The second bag will contain sections of tubing and adapters used for stepping down hose sizes for select airflow sources and media. The third bag will contain a spare set of caps that are used on the connection hose barbs on the base and a second type of cap that should be used on the flow cells when they are not connected. Please note that the shorter and wider caps go on the base and the longer and thinner cap is used on the flow cells. Placing these caps on the equipment when not in use protect the puck in the flow cells from moving during transit.